Hello friends, welcome back to Happy Learning. Today, we're diving into one of the most magical and colorful places on earth, the coral reef. Some people call them the rainforests of the sea because they are bursting with life, color, and mystery. Get ready to meet strange creatures, learn how corals are made, and discover why these underwater cities are so important for our planet. A coral reef is not just rocks or plants. It's actually built by tiny animals called coral polyps. Each polyp builds a hard skeleton around itself. Over hundreds and thousands of years, these skeletons pile up and form the massive coral structures we see today. Not all corals are the same. There are hard corals, the builders of the reef with stony skeletons, soft corals, flexible and wavy like underwater flowers. Together, they make the reef look like a garden. Coral reefs are home to 25% of all marine species. Let's meet some amazing ones. Clownfish. Small colorful fish living among sea anemones, immune to their stings. Parrotfish. Bright fish with beak-like mouths that help create sand by eating coral. Butterflyfish. Colorful, flat-bodied fish with striking patterns, common in reefs. Angelfish. Large, colorful fish with flowing fins and bold patterns. Damselfish. Small territorial fish often seen darting around corals. Russ. Elongated fish known for cleaning parasites from other fish. Surgeonfish. Fish with sharp spines on their tails, including the famous blue tang. Triggerfish. Bold fish with strong jaws used to crush shells and sea urchins. Grouper. Large predatory fish that hide in coral crevices. Snapper. Schooling fish that hunt smaller reef creatures. Hawkfish. Perch on coral branches watching for prey. Goatfish. Use whisker-like barbells to search sand for food. Reef shark. Small to medium-sized sharks that patrol coral reefs. Moray eel. Long snake-like fish that hide in holes and ambush prey. Lionfish. Striped, venomous fish with long spiny fins. Hermit crab. Small crabs that live in empty shells for protection. Cleaner shrimp. Shrimp that clean parasites off fish. Spiny lobster. Lobsters with long antennae and no claws. Pistol shrimp. Shrimp that can make a loud snap to stun prey. Mantis shrimp. Colorful shrimp with powerful claws for hunting. Decorator crab. Covers its shell with algae and sponges for camouflage. Arrow crab. Long-legged crab with a triangular body. Octopus. Intelligent soft-bodied mollusk with eight arms. Squid. Fast swimming mollusks with tentacles and fins. Giant clam. Large, colorful clam that can live over 100 years. Cone snail. Beautiful but venomous snail with a harpoon like tooth. Sea cucumber. Soft bodied echinoderms that recycle nutrients in sand. Crown of thorns starfish. Large, spiny starfish that feeds on coral. Blue starfish. Bright blue starfish common in shallow reefs. Feather star. 
Echinoderm with feathery arms used for filter feeding. Green sea turtle. Large marine turtle that grazes on seagrass. Hawksbill turtle. Critically endangered turtle with a pointed beak. Manta ray. Huge gentle ray that filters plankton from the water. Eagle ray. Spotted ray with a long tail and graceful swimming. Dugong. Marine mammal related to manatees, feeds on seagrass. Brain coral. Hard coral with surface patterns like a human brain. Staghorn coral. Branching hard coral resembling deer antlers. Elkhorn coral. Thick, flat coral branches similar to elk antlers. Sea fan coral. Flat fan-shaped coral used by small creatures for shelter. Soft coral. Flexible coral species like leather corals. Staghorn coral. Branching hard coral resembling deer antlers. Elkhorn coral. Thick, flat coral branches similar to elk antlers. Sea fan coral. Flat fan-shaped coral used by small creatures for shelter. Soft coral. Flexible coral species like leather corals. Squirrel fish. Red big-eyed fish active mostly at night. Cardinal fish. Small fish with big eyes often sheltering in corals. Bannerfish. Striped fish with long dorsal fins similar to butterfly fish. Antheas. Small brightly colored fish often in large schools. Flute fish. Long slender fish that blends in with coral branches. File fish. Flat-bodied fish with rough skin and small dorsal spine. Pipefish. Long, thin fish related to seahorses. Seahorse. Small, upright swimming fish with curled tail. Scorpionfish. Camouflaged, venomous fish resting on reefs. Stonefish. Highly venomous fish perfectly camouflaged as a rock. Sea snake. Venomous marine reptiles found in warm reef waters. Remora. Fish with suction disc that attaches to larger animals. Barracuda. Long, fast predator with sharp teeth. Bumphead parrotfish. Large parrotfish with distinctive forehead bump. Boxfish. Small box-shaped fish covered in bony plates. Pufferfish. Fish that inflates when threatened, sometimes toxic. Lenny. Small fish with expressive faces and curious behavior. Frogfish. Ambush predator with lure, masters of camouflage. Garden eel. Eels that live half buried in sand, swaying like plants. Nudie branch. Colorful sea slugs with striking patterns. Coral reefs are like underwater cities that protect the coast from big waves and storms. They provide food and shelter for millions of people, and they are a treasure chest for scientists. Many medicines are made from reef plants and animals. Sadly, coral reefs are in danger. When water gets too warm, corals lose their colorful algae and turn white. This is called coral bleaching. Pollution, overfishing, and climate change are harming them. If bleaching lasts too long, corals can die. But there's hope. We can protect coral reefs by reducing plastic waste, choosing sustainable seafood, and using reef-safe sunscreen. Every little action counts, even from far away. Supporting marine protected areas helps keep these precious places safe. Remember, coral reefs are precious, magical places. Let's keep them safe for future generations. See you next time on Happy Learning. Bye-bye.